But if you're in the first team, obviously the big the big games you played was uh, the two UC Milan games. Um, leading up to that week, I think Gaz Caldwell was injured and big, the yeah, daddy was suspended, well. Elvis, wasn't he? <laughs> um, so did you know the week before that you were going to play? Um, I think I had a rough idea, but Gordon Stratton was always funny. He never he never reassured you all that much, but I think that was a, a good thing. I think if you had told me weeks before I was playing... Uh, you could work yourself into a frenzy so uh-huh. I kind of had a rough idea I could play but I'd only played probably half a dozen first team games mm-hmm. so I, I didn't know if he'd, he'd have a makeshift centre back whatever but obviously when I think it was probably only the day before the game I knew I was actually starting um, so did he shape up or something you yeah shape uh-huh. probably uh-huh. And, I, and I don't even I don't even, say I don't think he definitely didn't even pull me aside and yeah. playing, which again made me in one way probably would have liked if he spoke to me but on the other side it made me feel good because I was thinking he doesn't even see this as an issue he's just like putting he me feels in he doesn't yeah, he doesn't need to speak, to speak as a... um, so he was in the shape and, and that was it and obviously the games went well for from my point of view in a, in a, a young a young stage in my career and kind of set me up from there and after that I think I signed a contract pretty much straight away Pierre Lovell I think was panicking I was on like 400 quid a week or something uh-huh. so panicking other clubs and I, I think there was other clubs straight after that we're trying to to inquire about me um, <clears throat> and obviously I signed and, and uh, had some good times after that what do you think it was about you that, 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 that you were able to, to go into a game like that and perform well mm, I don't know if it was necessarily about me I think I had a decent I have a decent mentality and a decent uh, temperament but I think they've got good players around me as well mm-hmm. who did players, you play set half huh? it was big Mick that night and Mick actually moved and see any left footer will tell you it's not an easy thing to move, to move from his left hand side to the right hand side, uh-huh. um, and Mick was a young guy as well, but looked after me well. Uh, Lee Naylor, we had a lot of players that they looked after me, um, and I think, I think I showed them that I was able, and and once you do that, you you kind of you earn people's trust, and I think, I think it was probably the players that really really helped me more than anything. What was uh, what was the biggest step like the, for going from reserve team football to going playing AC Milan in uh, San Siro? Well, the AC Milan game was a bit different than. Than what a, a league game would be like because you're obviously defending more and it was more uh, concentration. concentration uh-huh. I remember after games, <clears throat> after games you'd be exhausted mentally, physically. I was I was able to cope with it. I was fit, I was strong, but mentally I was drained after games. And actually after that game, the away leg, we'd Rangers on the Sunday, and obviously uh, Stephen Presley was back. Uh-huh. I remember Gordon Stratton pulled me and put Stephen Presley in, and I think there was a few fans and people were thinking why Stephen Presley was obviously at the end of his career he wasn't going to be playing with us longer we were like st- leaving in I needed out because after the, the game in, in Milan I was trained I, you were it was a relief when, you he, to... <laughs> when he said to me I, when he said to me I, I would never have, have admitted it at the time but I was relieved uh-huh. because see if I had to go into Irox that it was Irox I remember I, I would have been I would have struggled that's the thing about being a first team set you play yeah, it's Champions League Tuesday and Bayern. The mental side of it is the biggest thing. Yeah, um, it's relentless, and that's the respect up for the team now. That to go home beating people think yeah they they are better than every other team, but see to do it every week to motivate yourself every week and not even motivate yourself but to stay on it every week. Uh-huh. It's not easy. I said Bruni's good at it. Bruni's on it. His intensity, uh-huh. Uh-huh. the brain, the way he trains every day, uh-huh. he brings the whole squad with him. So after the two games against Milan, um, did you feel a lot of pressure? There? impress um, <clears throat> a bit of both I felt I belonged first of all because I knew I'd, I'd obviously kind of prove myself you obviously have to prove yourself all the time but I felt I belonged so that part was good but yeah it probably did uh-huh. um, I thought one of the things if I could look back and with experience I changed I thought I was a first team player before I was uh-huh. um, so I was desperate to play all the time which was a good thing in a way but probably led me the reason why I left Celtic in the end was I probably was a little bit too agitated with not play. playing. Uh-huh. Um, obviously it was Strachan that, that gave you your, your mm-hmm. chance. Um, how did you find him as a manager? I remember we went to, was it the pre-season after AC Milan? He'd obviously had a good season and uh, you're in, yeah, maybe, we'd, we'd yeah. got beat and at full time he pointed to you, he's like, I knew, you like to, your agent's been pimping you over Great Britain, <laughs> <laughs> remember it? I was trying to get it wrong. <clears throat> yeah, he called me. I think it was pimping or whoring myself whoring right now, <laughs> with no takers, that was it. And I looked down and you were sitting with a pair of high heels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he... But how did you find him? Did you like Did you like Yeah, him? I, 
it's now I look back and I really appreciate him. He was he was tough with me. Uh-huh. Tough He's with not all the one that tasted you. Yeah, he was tough with all the young lads. Um, but looking back, he was he was really really good with me, and he really really liked me. But he probably never let that on when um, he was manager. But he was. He's the best coach I've ever worked for. Uh, the one I've learned, uh, learned the most from. Um, fantastic. Had a theory for everything. Uh, Anything happened in a football match, someone slipped and gave away the ball and scored. It wasn't that. It was something that happened three minutes before. Uh, and, he'd, and it was it, he was brilliant. And it's something I'm doing a bit of coaching now. He'd be someone that I would I would uh, look at quite a lot. Um, <clears throat> I think the best best moment of your career, say like career, was probably your goal against Rangers. Nice. How did uh, how did that feel? <coughs> Again, it's it's probably now I look back and think that was brilliant. At the time, I remember at the time thinking... Can I wait for the night yet? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> really I was, but I, yeah, I was. Um, we had a good night, that's for sure, after. But I was actually delighted because I thought, I'm going to play next week. Um, I'll definitely be in the team next week. You can't take me out. And it was a, it was a massive call for me because I only played left back when Lee Naylor was suspended or injured. Lee Naylor was fit. So I, I went into the cup final thinking, oh, and typical strategy never told me, mm-hmm. I went in prepared, right, but went in thinking I was, be lucky if I was on the bench. Uh-huh. And it was typical him, never never said a word, just named the team and put me in. And I had <laughs> nearly gone to Burnley on loan, I think it was a month previously, and all he said to me before the game was walking in, he went, this is better than Burnley, isn't it? And that was it. Uh-huh. So, that, uh, so it was just I was just delighted to be playing, playing the cup final against Rangers and then to score was <clears> just a bit. A bit surreal. Now you look back and you see, and it does. It stays with you. People, people remember. remember yeah. It's a tiny bit of history in a in a fantastic club. So it's it's obviously a, a really big thing for me. Mm-hmm.